it's time for you all to wake up and shift your paradigm. This world is the kingdom of darkness and we are living in its last days. It won't be long before the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. The heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat and the earth and everything therein shall be burnt up. The Luciferian elite have been setting up the new world order and now they've established the globalist beast system for the rise of that wicked one and revealing of the man of sin who comes after the workings of Satan. Don't take my word for it. Read the Bible and you'll know that perilous times shall come in the last days and we are in the last days. Well, I have been warning you about it and now it is official. Formal Google engineer is creating a religion that worships an AI god. As long as people have existed, old gods have died and new ones are conjured. And as technology and machines get ever more entwined with our lives, it is little wonder that some feel like a new religion will develop. That at least is the thought of former Google engineer Anthony Landowski, who apparently formed a new Silicon Valley based religion and has lofty dreams of worshiping an AI god. There are few details about the form that this AI overlord may take. Will it be benevolent and caring, or wrathful and avenging? Will it demand sacrifices on a motherboard altar, or require you to imbibe Juicero while performing hot yoga? Who knows? For the time being, we'll just have to wait until further instruction from our future God and hope we do nothing to anger it in the meantime. The germinating religious sect was uncovered by Wired, who found that in 2015, Landowski founded a religious organization with the aim to develop and promote the realization of a godhead based on artificial intelligence which is being called rather ominously way of the future they also found documents that showed that he has positioned himself as the ceo and president of such foundation and Perhaps he's trying to curry favor with the new supreme leader. The community that has arisen in Silicon Valley has already been described by many as akin to a cult worshiping technology. So maybe there's a place for this new order. Coders, engineers, and developers talk about the moment that machines surpass humans in all aspects to the singularity when AI becomes so intelligent and, cap and capable that we as a biological species won't even be able to comprehend what it knows. As technology has evolved, humans have always adapted and changed their religion and deities to fit with the changing times from the advent of agriculture killing the spirits worshipped by hunter-gatherers or perhaps even the god of fire and volcanoes being co-adapted by the street steel workers 
This is a common occurrence in communities throughout history. So perhaps the development of a deity based on computing, robotics, and cyberspace is not that surprising in the long run. Either way, it might be a while before Lindowski can devote his entire attention to his new godhead as he is currently mired in a billion dollar lawsuit between two of the biggest plays in Silicon Valley as two of his former employees face off against each other. Google claims he stole trade secrets on self-driving cars in a bid to replicate the technology for his new Uber self-driving cars. Now, you see, this is absolutely exactly the type of thing that I've been warning about. This article is not just proof, not that we need proof, because people have been worshipping technology for quite a while, but this is proof that there is an actual religion already in place, and if indeed there is a new so-called quote-unquote God or AI Godhead, then it could very well be, at the very least, if not the Antichrist, then it could definitely be the image of the beast.